So I should have recorded that so then I could have put it on here, but I'm sure it'll come up at some point. And substantially lets you put a Supreme Bird back in their hand and get her around the cat Labyrinth. Because, like, they can they can rebuild through Surgical. I don't think these decks can rebuild through Leyline. And, like, Surgical is much better. Like, you can bring, like... Um, like, I can... Like, I can bring in... I can make Leyline of the Void my plan against, like, Mardu. You know, which makes it so that my Graveyard Hate is also my Grindy Matchup Hate. But I can just bring these in against... Like I probably just board in against Mardu. I would probably board in these, these, these. Cut my battle rages. Cut this fatal push. Cut three bolts, and then like one street wraith, and that's my plan. Um, and Leyline just shuts off like KCI shuts off, which is still like a really scary deck in my opinion. Shuts off KCI. Shuts off the Bridgevine deck until it adapts. If it starts adapting, I might have to work on that. Um. Like KCI, Hollow One, Mardu, Dredge, just any of those random graveyard decks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mulligan. Nah. I'm on the draw. Bobble. It's C. Three cards before I miss my next land, so I'm gonna keep. Yeah, but I'm not sure that you can like afford to play. Um, let's check out my top card, because now I can just Thought Scour myself if I like it. I'm not sure you can afford to play Bring That Removal in against Death Shadow when it's also being proactive. Like, I can sit here and I can, um, they can board in all that crap against me, and they can just be, like, holding it and looking at it 8-8. You just attack them from, it's a whole other angle of attack, which I like. Yeah, I just think that you're not... Uh, I just don't think that you're evaluating the matchup right there, Jolson. Jolsani, I don't think we're going to agree on it. We're going to get stubbed. We're playing the mirror. Looks like we are playing the mirror. So we get to try the... Uh, we get to try... Oh, they're not a Thought Scout. They're not going to stub it. They did hit a poor card. Okay, so they're probably playing Lantos List. So we're just going to take this Gurmag Angler. Uh, the K command is also rough. The problem is I can just Gurmag Angler next turn, and we might find an answer to this K command. So we get two draw steps, basically. We're trying that tonight, or today. So nice thing here is I can actually snap Thought Seize, which will force my opponent's hand on the command. They probably just cast it. They might go to like shock discard, and then we get rid of dismember, clears the way for homeboy. Oh, I need to hang on. Upload new. Alright, we should be in good shape now. The stream decker should be fixed. Opponent's got priority. Yeah, I have two lunges in the sideboard. I didn't restart Moto like I wanted to. Uh, lunge only costs one mana. And it gets haste. I don't know. Like it's, I think like when in doubt, just do the cheaper thing. We're just going to run out Snap Boy. That seems like a real waste of a Snapcaster Mage. I get that your mana is going to be used, but... Green Ley Line? So we're probably going to put this into play tapped. They might main phase this K command just to get it off. And if that's the case, we're just going to discard our Battle Rage.
No, I don't think Delver's a really legitimate modern card. He's just dismembering his own. Well, this is gas. So now, if their last card Stubborn Denial, we could be in like a little bit of trouble because... Or if they have another Death Shadow. But if they have another Death Shadow, we just go push that push. All right, so show me. We should be able to grind this out here. So we're going to do this now. This is why I don't necessarily like Kid Command in a lot of these matchups, because it's a little slow. Cycle Street Wraith. Yeah, and see, now we just, like, probably fetch a... Yeah, we probably can go this low because we're just going to play. I could just take this Kolagon's command, or I could just play the Death Shadow. I think I'm going to take the Kolagon's command. I don't want my opponent to, like, get me. I would rather just, like, we're so far ahead, I would rather just stay ahead. And now my opponent's just a useless card. Now my opponent's dead like a bunch of ways. They lost that AC. No, I don't I don't want to play a three mana card there, Circle Turk. I think you should really limit the three amount of three mana cards you have in your deck, especially if you're playing 17 lands. Okay. Alrighty. So now we have to try the Leyline plan out. So we want our push. We want our Ley Lines. And we might want the commands. Cards we definitely don't want. We don't want Battle Rage. We don't want Lightning Bolt. And I could just cut two Street Wraiths and play two and bring these commands in, but I'm not even like super in love with that. I'm going to go one and one. The K command is just like not that great, I don't think. It doesn't kill anything. Like you sometimes get those long games where it's just the nut, but you don't kill anything. Something I'm also interested in, might try tonight after this league, is just switching two Thought Scours with Faithless Lootings, just so that if we do draw the Ley Lines, we can hopefully do something with them. Speak with the show. I haven't tried the gut shot yet. Hey, Andrew, how's it going? Yeah, I leave in all my discard. I think all I think the discard's great. It's about being able to like poke holes in your opponent's game plan. Like taking discard spells out and grinding matchups is something that modern decks of old do. All the modern decks now are too good where if you don't disrupt their game plan, even in these fair mid-range decks, that they're gonna beat you. So we don't have a ley line, but we have a good hand. So we're going to keep it. Now we have to we have to lean ourselves here to play more aggressively because wow, no play for them. Because we have a certain number of cards in our deck that are just breaks. We only have one red card, so we're gonna get another watery grave. And we're gonna start off with an ink position. Ley line of the dingo, my god. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's take this last hope. They're, they left in Lightning Bolt, which is worth paying attention to. I would agree. How have you been doing? I do well. Since I put the Ley Lines in my deck, I do fine, except for the control matchup. And that's why we're, we're trying some weird shit today. So four Ley Lines on the side. Crush Storm. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes it is just that easy, boy. I've got mine. Like, a couple of them are my friends. I have one of them that I own. Then my friends have another one. 
my friend has another has another two that I borrow. That I'm borrowing or another three that I'm borrowing for tomorrow. But you like if this sideboard doesn't work out, we got to build a sideboard on stream tonight. That's what we got to figure out. Okay, so he ditches a bolt. So he still has. Okay, they're down a lot of resources. A bushwhacker on Sunday. Yeah, that'll work. Leyline is miserable, yes. Yeah. They should they should crack this right now. Nice job, opponent. So I'm gonna get a steam vents with this and then cast well. My hand's so black, I think I'm just going to get a Blood Crypt. Now nah, I'm going to get a Steam Vents. Just have all my bases covered. If I hit a Cantrip, I'm going to want to cast it or a Stubborn Denial. See? That's what happened. Um, put on the bottom. Put on top. The problem is if I put this on top, then I have to Thought Scour my opponent. But I really want to cast this. So I think I am going to put this on top. And I'm just going to Thought Scour my opponent. Like I want to go like that into two threats. Oh, Jeff, thank you very much for the host. I appreciate that. Everyone coming over from Jeff's stream, I appreciate you all for checking in. We just started playing some Modern Death Shadow. <clears throat> That's bad, man. Blue Light Control. The light control is terrible. I think I want to just... Now I'm just going to cast this so we can have like an explosive turn next turn. Playing 15 ley line sideboard. Daring my opponents to answer them. If your opponent had a ley line in this matchup, what is the reason? I'm going to... If I saw an angle... If I saw ley line in game two, I would shave some snapcasters. Oh, no. I wouldn't shave snapcasters. I would shave Gurmag Anglers. Snapcaster is still just a little dumb beater, you know? That sometimes you just, like, deal with their problems, get in there, and then get it, you know? Yeah, my opponent's, like, kind of tilting off. Jeez, Andrew, you're just, like, tossing the subs out left and right, my friend. Because an 8 is bigger than a 4-4. And it's hardly that slow. There, bud. Look at that. My cup is just getting full. So I take my shadow. They play a tap land. My opponent's like super dead. I need like a discard spell or a snapcaster mage. So we know they have two um two dismembers, so we're just gonna hold up here. If we draw a Snapcaster Mage, this game's likely over. Dreadnought. Or Galta. We just you could just be traversing for your Galtas. Like maybe we all just need to reevaluate our Death Shadow lives and just start traversing for Galta. We're just going to play slow here. We're up on cards. They are effectively trading with us, but we're going to have two cards next turn. Exactly. 
Advent Shadow, uh, Shadow of Galta. That's what we do. You need to reevaluate your terrible deck choices, anyways, for sure. All right, so he takes our Angler. Snapcaster Mage. All right, so that's likely going to do some pretty serious work for us. So we take Dismember. We're a little punished by not having triple black mana. So I could just wait till next turn. Now I'm just gonna play this Death Shadow. This is kind of mopey, but like he trades out, you know, three cards, we're untapping. He might even wait till his turn to do it. Yep. So we get a little bit of a uh, little bit of tempo there. I think Hollow One's fine, especially if you if Death Shadow has Ley Lines in their board. It's basically whoever like Ley Lines harder. I changed my sideboard philosophy for this one. I think it's better against Hollow One. You got it. I could have been patient, I guess. They drew a Snapcaster Mage? Okay. That was going to be kind of annoying. So this Faith of Looting doesn't really do anything. They are just kind of spinning their wheels here. So they discard two lands. So they probably hit a spell, but like... Oh, God. Right on time, baby. Um... I guess I'm gonna leave up this much mana. It's not there's not much cost of us uh, paying enough life here. So let's go like this, 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 this. How do you beat humans with a sideboard? We just try to go right over the top of them as quick as possible. Like we've got, like, and I actually think that like a new wrinkle in the humans deck and the humans matchup for Death Shadow is that it is much more difficult. For them to answer, what is this? Is this a ley line? No, they're okay. It's much more difficult for them to answer. Um, like, I don't know how to say this. I don't know how to like put this correctly. Um, it is much more difficult for them to operate without a vial because of bugler. Like bugler's clunky. So they're just like, they're just portraying that they have a stubborn denial. I can't, like they must, I don't know what they took out. If they left these lightning bolts in, they must have taken the stubs out. Like I'm just trying to think about how they sideboard it. So they do have a stub. Okay. So we'll pass. I guess I could have attacked there. Probably should have attacked because my opponent's dead on the next shot. Then we're dead to like a Snapcaster Mage, though. I will trade now. Because we have Shadow covered. I just like cut some of the grindy cards and try to put a little more like all in aggressive cards. All right, that's a big draw. That is a big draw. So my opponent's probably gonna go snap Thought Scour. I'm gonna try to. I'm probably gonna snap Serum Visions on my turn. Like we're definitely trying some weird things today because like I keep playing against this blue white control deck and I keep trying to like board in grindy cards against them and it just doesn't work. Like I want to go right, I, I want to go like right at them. I don't want, I don't want to, I want to sideboard around them. I mean, I don't want to go toe to toe with them. I want to try to sideboard around. Yeah, they're, they're just computer glasses. Make your eyes better. All right, so now I think I'm actually going to snap Thoughtseize. Uh, what's the better thing to do? Snap thought. What would they have? They could have like K Command here. 
No, I'm just gonna snap. I'm gonna snap Serum Visions. We're gonna try to get get going here. Cause I want to either find like more gas or ways to answer a Gurmag Angler from them. Okay, that's really good. So I'm probably not going to play the shadow until I can stub it. I have stub back up. Just because, like, we're not under pressure. We have the time. I appreciate all of you guys coming over from Jeff's stream. I hope you're enjoying yourselves here. I hope you're having a good Friday. It's the weekend. I probably will just cast the ley line next turn. Because, like, I'm not going to crack it because I want my Death Shadow. So I'm just going to cast the Ley Line and probably not even play my land. Like, if they want to waste a stub on this, that's cool. So they're returning Gurmag Angler. Okay. So that's going to, like, definitely mess with things a little bit. So we need to hope that they don't have another Snapcaster Major or Bolt. I would say, yeah. I didn't get to appreciate it. I didn't even come up with a good stream. Us have Zenvoids are tough, beat, tough beats. <laughs> oh, Andrew. I don't even want to show my opponent this ley line. This was kind of like... A little bit of the risk of my play of going snap serum visions, even though that serum visions was very good, it definitely like it, it left me a little open to a quick Gurmag Angler. It's good to note. Is that the second king command from my opponent? No, it's the first one. Oh, I shouldn't know. If in case they bolt me, turn off auto yields. No, okay. So we're gonna take a shot. <coughs> you got it, dude. Watch him battle rage me. That would be fun. Do you even battle rage? No, I didn't. Okay. I mean, you could Snapcaster bolt me here at any point. Yeah, we're playing the mirror. I I have not played against humans very much. I would assume that it is worse. God. You guys want to, like, talk about something not to do? He is shuffling my deck, though, which is pretty bad for me. But, like, this is absolutely awful. So now he's going to see my cyborg plan. What a double tilt. So what do we need? Another Death Shadow, basically. That locks us out. That's the game. So that makes a little more sense. It's still like an awful board in. But we're definitely punished by not topping the shadow. Yep. I thought I was in a bit too comfortable of a position. Which happens. I had a million cards in my hand. Like, we're in pretty good shape. Alright, I'm going to cut one more of these and bring this in. Game's went a little long, so I'm going to go. Let's go against the grain here. <clears throat> I 
I'm already up to 1,100 followers. I only had 1,000, just barely, a little while ago. Opened up a million chests on camera. It was awesome. I definitely have to restart mode after this game. Cannot forget. We just need to start with a ley line and play, and then we're good. Show me a ley line avoid. This hand's really good. And it's got a ley line. So we're just going to play land pass so we can stub a thought seize or thought scour. <coughs> it's a pretty weak land to start on. That probably means that they have a stubborn denial, but like. If they counter my Thought Scour, then I do get to resolve Thought Seize next turn. All right, now the game's just like super over. Oh, let me get my land in play. Show me the goods, bud. Like none of the, we're gonna take the last hope because it's probably the only card that matters. I could take Faithless Looting because his cards actually don't matter. Or I could just take this Thought Scour. We're gonna be able to stub the Liliana. So you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna we're gonna time walk him. There's definitely merit to taking the Faithless Looting because um, because my opponent's hand's so bad. But, like, whatever. We're going to let him go down a card when we've already got, like, a, a really good advantage. So I think that, like, Bolt is defensible. It depends on how much other, like, what else you have. Should definitely, that's the wrong land to use that on. Because now you can't cast a discard spell. And, like, I think the only way you win is if you run off a lot of discard spells into a Death Shadow. Granted, a Death Shadow is going to be pretty solid here. Just because it's bigger than Nasty. Like, I definitely don't think it's awful to keep lightning bolts in, but that's only be probably only because you don't have a lot to bring in for the mirror. So ditch Colgon's command. And another looting. So I know three out of their five. So let's go get a blood crypt. I do almost want another Gurmag Angler, but I'm not going to cast it for a while. So I think I'm just going to put both of these on the bottom. The next stub, the second stub is pretty solid. If my opponent plays like a Death Shadow, I might snap Serum Visions on my turn. My opponent plays Liliana here, the game's likely over. They're just not going to play Liliana. Which probably means they found a second Lightning Bolt. That dismember's nice. So now I'm fairly certain the only way that we really get screwed here is with a uh, is by Death Shadow. 
my opponent goes like flash in snapcaster mage bolt after like i'm gonna let it block and then i'm gonna let my opponent bolt me they're already gonna go down to where this is a two point swing anyways i'd rather just not use this dismember on this thing Yeah, it would have, but, like, keeping a land when you already have three is pretty mopey. Yep. Stub that. I don't know, to tell you the truth. I would like to try a version of this deck with looting in it now that there's ley lines on the board. It's good to notice that when you draw a ley line of the void, like it could be something else. Maybe we get banned and we can just end the debate all again. Maybe. It might. So I'm worried about Death Shadow here. Like Death Shadow is not good for the home team. Because if they play Death Shadow, they have Stubborn Denial up as well. No, well, we're good. All right. I'm going to restart Moto here. All right. I appreciate everybody coming over from Jeff's channel. I hope you guys all had a good stream hanging out with him. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. I appreciate that. Uh, if you guys need any Magic Online signals, you should check out Card Hoarder. Card Hoarder is the sponsor of this podcast. Card Hoarder does a lot for the Magic Online community. They allow probably up to 40 people to stream and provide content. So that's something great to do. And they also sponsor our protein. If you need paper signals, you should check out Gamer Craze. They're, um, they're linked below. It's where I learned to play Magic. They foster a college environment, so they have a lot of good prices. Um, and last, if you want to miss part of the stream and you want to check it out, all of my stream archives are all my streams are archived on Twitter, on YouTube. So uh, you can find that by the link below. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can check below and then find my Twitch stream. Uh, last, if you want to talk Magic with me, then check me out on Twitter. That's also linked below on both YouTube and Twitter. So you guys should all check that out. And um, I appreciate that. It's the best way to support me without opening up your pocketbook. Just go subscribe to YouTube. I think I think if anything should be banned, I thoroughly believe. And like, I think that I think that ancient stirring should be banned if anything, because ancient stirrings is the best cantrip in the format. It allows decks a colorless deck to play with a consistency level that is just so high that it's unreal. Between Tron and KCI, they're some of the most consistent decks in the format. I would like to play first, and I would like to mulligan. I would like to keep this as an explosive hand. Yeah. Yeah, like, 
Put this in the bottom. So what do I want to do? Do I want to do Thoughtseize? I probably could have kept that on top, cycled into it, and then seen... I probably should have because it's the same. Putting it on the keeping it on top is the same thing as putting it on the bottom because it's a cycler. It just adds to delves. That was actually a mistake. I think I'm just going to Inquisition. Okay, so we're playing against Hollow One, and we're just going to take this Burning Inquiry. It sucks we cannot stub that. I don't really think, in all reality, I don't really think that much has to. I think the format's pretty solid. There are some issues, but. So looking for a Battle Rage here. Battle Rage, a discard spell for this Lightning Bolt. All right, we're going to play the Rope-A-Dope here with our opponent. <clears throat> You got it. No, I don't think, definitely don't think Stoneforge Mystic should be banned. What I don't like about people, I think they just make poor arguments about Stoneforge Mystic, is like, there's just no reason the card should be banned, in my opinion. It just, like, the people are like, oh, it's going to make white decks all play Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, the blue decks all play Snapcaster Mage already. That's a pretty nice draw. I think we're just going to take this other bolt, too. Some of my opponent's dead if they don't present a blocker. I'm definitely just going to block. I'm going to bolt one of these. Okay. Well, now I'm going to bolt. All right. We're going to bolt one because we have a bolt on top, and it might make it so our opponent doesn't block. Because bolting these is also good. Like, it's not going to take a lot to kill our opponent. Got him. Okay. So, in this matchup, this is where we want... We want our Ley Lines. We want Battle Rage. K Command is, like, pretty medium. This is a new sideboard build, so I don't exact. I'm not going to be super tight with it to start. <clears throat> so I'm going to do some like thinking here. It does not look like we're going to have rooms room for these K commands. Uh, actually, so I'm on the draw, so I like to have a little bit more removal on the draw. So I might cut like a couple, a little bit of discard because I just want to be able to deal with flame blade adept. I could also go like this if we think these Colgons commands are good, which I just want to try. So let's try this out. I think Mardu Pyromancer is like decent. It's fine. I, I think it's like it's too slow to be really good. It just doesn't play. Like this is the best fair deck in the format. It's difficult to play, which is what hurts, and it struggles against blue-white control. But if you want to play fair like Mardu, this is the best deck to play. Um, I think I'm going to mulligan because hitting a ley line is just so good. Okay, so we did. We do not want that. 
So let's see how this goes here. No, I, I think Jen's pretty awful. If we're gonna be, if we're just gonna be above the rim there. I think the whole the whole time of like. Um, do I want that? I don't think so. I think I'm just looking for a way to kill this flame blade adapt. So I should fetch a steam vents and then cycle this. I think the whole idea that modern is like, like there's a whole bunch of decks in modern that are fine and that you can win with, but modern is beginning to separate itself. In my opinion, like the cards are just becoming very good. Okay, so there's Death Shadow, which is step one. We have three Battle Rages, so we're just going to, like, we're going to get after him because this is just a trade now because they can't flash it back. It would pump this boy up a little bit, but we know they have a Bolt, so they're going to be able to kill this Shadow anyway, so we might as well not run it face first into this thing. We'd like to find, to find Nasty here. That's not bad also, so let's go like this. Now we can fetch Blood Crypt if we want, or we can, like, Thought Scour. So I'm likely just going to bolt this thing. Like, there's just no need to take too much damage. No, it wouldn't, but it would slow it down. There's no reason why these colorless decks need to be as consistent as they are. So take three. Yeah, I guess I can just take three here. Though they could have plenty of they, We know they at least have one bowl. Let's just play a slow game. I think I can beat this deck with a Leyline in play if we go long. So going long without Snapcaster Mage could be difficult. Okay, there's the Hollow Boy. All right, so we're gonna play this so we can push a push a Phoenix. But next turn we can actually play a Shadow <coughs> that's large enough to deal with this. Hollow one, and we're gonna leave this fetch land in play. Hopefully they don't have a push. They do board pushes, so like it is reasonable. Okay. So let's get a we're just gonna get a tap watery grave here. We are flooding a little. We're gonna leave this fetch land. Okay, so now we're good. Now we can turn this boy sideways. And I do think we're just gonna crack for five. There's no need to get super anxious now that we have two big bodies. Two grande boys here. So we don't need this. We don't need this ley line. We don't need this. We don't need the bobbles. And we'll just pass. Yeah, Faithless Looting is like, it, I'm definitely a little more excited about looting than I am um, normally. Okay, so what does this do? It doesn't really do anything right now. I mean, we have to push this for sure. That's what it does. And now my opponent has to chump. <coughs> oh, okay, they got a hollow one.
So they have three cards. We can't beat Lightning Bolt if we attack. So what we could do is we could just play this, we could play this three race. We could just like play this land tapped, pass, fetch in on our turn, because we have do we have a basic? We do have a basic left in our deck. Fetch basic swap, then play the street wraith. It's it's definitely like Matchup for Vengevine. The matchup for Vengevine, you have two really good plans. Like, they're never beating Death Shadow Battle Rage. And then you have Ley Lines. So, like, I have beaten games where I've Ley Lined them out of the game, and I've beaten games where I've Death Shadowed them out of the game. So I don't think it's that bad. They've cast one Bolt. So I think they have another Bolt. <clears throat> and my gut, my gut says they have a Bolt. Yeah, but, like, it's a blocker. Now they can play Flame White Phoenix, which is a little sketch. Yeah, so now, now we're punished. So I think I'm going to cycle this this turn, actually. <clears throat> because <clears throat> we're only going to get one more turn no matter what here. So let's cycle this. Okay. Wow, that was pretty big. So I'm going to attack with these two. They block. They take five. We play uh, another. We play this guy, and then we just kind of hope that they don't have a bolt or a second flame like Phoenix. Another thing about how they beat Battle Rage. <clears throat> this is just a this is a terrible block. It probably means that I'm dead, honestly. Like that block was so egregious that it makes me think that they have something. We can't beat Bolt. You got a bolt? Yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah, that's what we may think there. Yeah, that's what it was. Like, they are just like, how do I not die? Okay, so now we're on the play. So I'm going to board out a little bit more removal. And bring in one more counter spell. My opponent's probably going to adjust how they sideboard as well. They might be, make, I guess, they might be able to make their deck a little leyline or not or more leyline proof. It is a little awkward. It was a little weird. How I mean, maybe they don't have that much to bring in, but I can't believe you don't have graveyard hidden. You know. Seven with a decent hand and a ley line. I would keep this six. It's a good six. How funny it would be if I lost both the cyborg games with ley lines. Punished. I really didn't want to fetch a steam vents with this land though. It's 
Inquisition probably would have been better on the play. Yeah, I definitely do not think Surgical is better at all. Surgical Extraction is the biggest trap sideboard card in Modern. God, they're just on, like, the little moron beatdown plan. All right, we're going to go fetch Blood Crypt, hit this. So now I just have to cash these cards in here. Because it's going to, like, let me be able to delve. So I'm just going to stub, fire this stub off on whatever I can get. We also have triple battle rage in our deck, so that's another good way out here. I do feel like I'm losing, though. If we're going to all be, like, you know, above the rim here. Okay, there's the hollow boy. So I'm going to play this guy. No, I'm going to play the shadow because even if my opponent kills it, we can fight over it a little bit. It's going to enable this angler. Okay. So I'm taking three. It's good, no attack. Just. <clears throat> I do need something to get here. What is this? Are you going to bolt me? Well, this was done in the wrong order. That lets me play Gurmag Angler this turn. <clears throat> that was not good. Okay, so what am I doing? I can attack, tap out, and play Leyline, and then I'm dead to another Lightning Bolt. Or I can just play Gurmag Angler. I think I like just playing this Gurmag Angler. Because it blocks here. The problem is if I just... I'm in a tough spot. How's it going, Holy Diva? <coughs> so I can... My opponent just used a bolt very stupidly. They might have made a mistake. So I can, like, attack with my Death Shadow. Put them to nine. Play Gurmag Angler. And then I'm dead to, like... I'm definitely dead to some things. I think we're going to get aggressive. This is going to be pretty intense if we lose both games with a ley line in play. And maybe I kept poor hands each time. Like, maybe there's just not enough. Maybe my sideboard plan's garbage. Oh, I'm, I'm going to play the fish. We could very easily die next turn. <laughs> I think Grishel Brand is a good deck. I think that one's underplayed.
yes, Ley Lines. Ley Lines the best card versus all these graveyard decks. It might not be great here, though, as we are seeing. Let's get our teeth kicked in. Ooh. What does that mean? Now I don't even want to cast my Gurmag Angler. Now I just want to sit on this Stubborn Denial. Because, like, we take four, crack them for nine. We take four, go to one. If my opponent hits me for nine. This is interesting, because, like, I don't know... What does that attack mean? That attack is such a sign. It means something. I think I'm going to be able to stub something. So I think I'm actually just going to pass. <coughs> Ooh, that changes the race. Get another, get another effect like that, bud. <clears throat> we have three. We're drawn to three battle rages. They're not attacking like someone that's got lightning bolt. We have three bolts in our deck. So we're drawing to like Bolt, Battle Rage. Oh. Another hollow one. Okay. That makes sense. You don't put it in the deck to not draw it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, dude. Bring the Rage. Bring the rage. God, I love raging. There's something so therapeutic after a shitty day of work of just team or battle raging people. <coughs> you know, like, like if someone's really been on my case at work, you know, like, I can't team or battle rage my coworkers. You know, I can't team or battle rage the guy that, like, you know, was an asshole at lunch today. You can team or battle rage people on the computer. I'm actually going to run to the bathroom. We'll be right back. Leave the deck list up. TBR equals Splinter Twin. <laughs> oh, 
got 300 people in here tonight. I appreciate you all for showing up and hanging out. God, it's Friday night. I don't even have any stream beers. I might have to like Uber. I might have to just millennial it up and just like Uber eat some stream beers. <laughs> I quote, you can't team or battle rage your coworkers. <laughs> I know, man. I miss Philly so much. All of you that are in the chat, I have this dog. This is my, this is little Phil. This is him a while ago though. So let me see if I can find, if I can find a new picture of him. My wife sent me a little video of him today that's really cute. So let me see if I can find this. This is going to be some really jerry-rigged stream action here, so give me a second. I'm going to have to like multitask here pretty hard. You have to let me know if you can hear this while you see it. So like... Billy, do you miss Dylan? Billy, what? Do you miss him? Yeah, say Mr. Dad. Yes, you. There's a little Philly boy. He's not little anymore. He's like, he's something like, he's like 65 pounds. God, I can just like throw him around and wrestle with him. It's so great. I would like to play first. All right, we're going to keep this. So we're going to Inquisition on one, and then we're going to, Thought scour it up. We're going to get nasty on turn two. That's the theme of this stream. We get nasty on turn two. And nobody forget it. Okay. <clears throat> so I think this is a pretty straightforward spoils of the vault because his hand is so slow. We don't want them to just top deck some... Well, I don't know, actually. This is actually kind of intense. I'm tempted to take the Angel's Grace because it is going to slow down... Like, it makes them get another card. The Spoils could just kill them, and it, it could act as a fog. So I think we're just going to take this Angel's Grace. Without uh, Lotus Bloom, this hand's pretty slow against us. Yeah, dude, I have the best dog ever. Philly Boy is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, but Pact is pretty useless without Angel's Grace. Like, they're not going to be able to do anything about this, uh, about Gurmy here. And we're going to be able to follow it up with the, the real Slim Shady. So I think we're just going to get another blue-black land. As we draw a Lightning Bolt. What they do this? They went two on top. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a suspended Lotus Bloom here. Here's a Pentad Prism, probably. Okay, so my opponent is getting up to the mana they need. Let's go fishing. All right. See their top card is and ad nauseum. So they have ad nauseum. So we know there's only one card we don't know about that they have. It's unfortunate we cannot play our shadow there. Dismember. So we might flash this Snapcaster Mage in and then attack with it, which also makes it a two turn clock. And it gives us the option to dismember it. And then play Shadow. My opponent is only one mana off if they ripped. What do they do with this? They... they put a card on top. So that is not good for the home team. Because it's either the six mana source or whatever it is. Um, it's either a six mana source. Or a losing my mind. It's a six mana source, or it's Angel's Grace. So 
So we have a two-turn clock anyways with this lightning bolt, so I don't think I'm going to flash this Snapcast from Regen. So I'm going to attack, and I'm actually going to snap Thought Scour on my turn to hopefully hit a discard spell or piece of interaction. We could have done that, yeah. Well, we can't do it now because they put two cards on the bottom. There's no point to that. So we're looking for a discard spell. And if not, we'll just play Death Shadow. And we will just let it lie if they get us. This is turn four, so if they turn for us, it's legit. We'll just leave it. <clears throat> yeah, we got hosted. The old who sent us. Jeff has uh, hosted me three times this week. We've just been like, I just end right as he starts. Or I start right as he ends. So it's been convenient. It is. I was having like stream beers last Sunday and I was like I was like there. Like I, I was I was good and buzzing. What is this? This is spoils of the vault. God, we are just getting a super YOLO here. So what is he name? Angel's Grace? Hey, we knew he had this. Um, and they die. He left a card on top when I couldn't Snapcaster Mage. When I had my when I had the option to go Snap Thought Scour, he went bottom bottom off his Serum Visions. So Counter Squall, stubborn. I kind of like all the counter spells here, and I don't even hate like. EE and Kologon's Command to, like, shatter their artifacts. Kologon's Command is kind of, like, the weakest card, so it's got to be what we take out. We don't need Battle Rage. We don't need Dismember. We don't need Lightning Bolt. Yeah, I think I think Kologon's Command is better than each one of these cards. So let's try this out. Couldn't tell you. <clears throat> The card is for, like, that's if you want to, like, live, you know? You keep in the rages. But we board up to, like, 72 counter spells. I guess, so this lightning bolt here isn't worth it. I should at least have one in. So I definitely punch it there. Uh, this hand's just not that good. It is very good if they have a ley line, but this is like a double mulligan already. All right, we'll keep this. Can I get me, boy? I deserve that. I deserve this. All right, so let's... We're going to do that low percentage play. Put a card on top. Cannot mill them. I think it's, like, decent. You know, like, we might, you know, it might get us here, but I'm not sure that we, like, overall need it. It should be in my deck over the lightning bolt for sure. My opponent's hand had a lot of mana in it. All right, so let's get a Blood Crypt.
Just keep all the counter spells in there, and then hopefully we find ourselves a uh, I think it's you gotta have a plan for it. Like you kinda if you're gonna play three TBRs, I think you gotta just abandon that humans control plan. God, we've mulliganed to four to three so far. Yeah, you gotta like give up that Grixis Shadow control plan against the humans decks. Which some people are doing, which isn't even that great. Like the best way to be a humans now, I think, is to just like try to like keep your discard in get under them, and then, like, really harass their vials. Like, K-Command's much better in that matchup than it used to be. Yeah, we can thought these ourselves. <clears throat> for sure. We have draws that kill our opponent next turn. They have draws that just kill us on the spot, though, right now. though. Spoils. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Not gonna make him go through it. Like I just decided to like I'm I'm just trying this board plan out tonight. And I guess I can go over it a little bit because I didn't go over it before my YouTube video, but we can do that in between matches. So yeah, this lightning bolt should not have been in my deck. We'll go we'll go with the squad chief special here. Alright. We'll go with the Squad Chief special. We'll see what see what how see how things go. Squad Chief knows knows his way around the old uh, the old one mana eight eights. All right, we're on the play. This hand's decent. It's not great. We're probably going to be pretty aggressive with this Stubborn Denial. We have a Snapcaster Mage to use it again. I think I'm going to keep this hand. I could see this like going south, though. But <clears throat> Okay, my opponent laylines me. This is what it feels like to be on the wrong end of the leyline. I'm just going to fetch, you know, their turns kind of low, low impact, but they put a card on the bottom, and they exile the Lotus Bloom. They exile two Lotus Blooms. They're actually not too bad for the home team. Right. We're going to be pretty aggressive with these stubborn denials. Oh, it's not going to give me a target, though. I uh, probably could just get another blue source. Let's just get steam vents. I hate fetching steam vents, but our hand's not that black. We can get this Death Shadow to a 4 4. We're in good shape. This hand has not turned out, though. Yeah, if we can, if we, if we hit a fetch land, we're in pretty good shape. That might not be worth stubbing now that I now that I actually think about it because of how like how much mana is in their hand. But now we can actually go stub snap stub on both of these lotus blooms, which is I'm kind of all about that. Yeah, I actually think I'm just going to go stub snap stub on these blooms. Like, even if my opponent tries to kill me, then they need so much to do that. They need they need a land drop. They need so out of their five cards, they need land, ad nauseum. Like how do they kill me? They would need pact of negation, land. So they have, let's say let's say one of these works, okay. I should just make him commit to them. I think. I think I should make him just commit to 
trying the problem is land He doesn't have any lands, so we know they have four spells. He doesn't cast any cantrips. So it makes sense that his hand is either Pax. He needs land, both the spells. So I think we're just going to get aggressive. He needs like land, both the spells, packed. He would need, and like if he packs right now, I don't know. So the upside of hitting the blooms in his way is in a way we're making them commit right here. Blow pack, etc. Or we just dive in there. And so then wait for a turn to better spot. I like that. I like just kind of ending like like here is where, like here's where I'm gonna start this fight. And we're going to feel like such shit if we die with two Snapcaster Mages in our hand. Okay. So now we let this one go. We let the next one go. And now they need to have two in order to get us. So now we know they have to go off now. Yeah, I agree. Or we can stub this. I kind of like stubbing this, because this makes the clock so much longer. But if I just stub... Yeah, so let's just pat. Let's just let this go. Because like he just dies to his pack, so the game's not going to go any longer. So what do you do? You got you got another you got a spoils of the vault. You got a pact of negation there, bud. Show me the money. He just goes spoils for pact of negation. I'm gonna hurl. Oh my god. That is disgusting. So, like, that, so he might actually mill over. It doesn't look like he milled over anything important, which also sucks. My opponent didn't, like, hit anything off of this. There's one guide. Two guides. God, so literally they had to hit the nut on the draw and not, they had to hit like the nut, complete nuts and not mill any, mill over, mill anything over. God, what a huge kick in the teeth. Oh. He's hitting the bloom, we would have won. That is like a real, like if I had something to drink, I would start. Holy shit. That one hurt. Like. Whew. So then like, how do I win there? I had to counter, I needed to counter the pact, not the pact, no, 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 no. I needed to counter the second Lotus Bloom, because if I counter the second Lotus Bloom, because at that point, my opponent's hand was some two out of the three combination of 
spoils ad nauseum in Phyrexian life. So like, even if they unlife, no. Yeah, so even if they unlife for another pact. Oh, that was such a beating. Oh, that's a tough. That's a tough one to. That's a tough one to stomach. If I lost like that at a Grand Prix or like an SCG or like a PTQ, I would have to like. I'd I'd have to probably like. Sit there for a second. We fully prepared for drawing the turn. The better. So you said just like hit them while they don't have any information is what you would have done. Yep. Yeah, we're on to a, we're on to a different format. Burn, baby, burn, burn. So I need to find a black land and a team or battle rage like ASAP. I guess we like deserve that for hitting that. <clears throat> they were too far behind. Steam vents confirmed OP, yes. We sort of deserve that after hitting that team or battle rage against the Hollow One player. Well, that's two pretty dynamite draws. So. Put on top, put on top. So next turn, assuming they do some damage to us, we can actually play Death Shadow and Bolt, the old Swifty dude. Lava, man. Now I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> How do I get my opponent to play like an asshole here? So, fetch shock down to 11. Play a 2-2 shadow. And then do I bolt this lava mancer? I probably bolt this lava mancer. And then we can street wraith our way around this rift bolt. Not block this, depending on what they do. Don't really want to let this thing just sit here. I don't think I had to pick one or the other, right? And now we have, like, removal spell plus stubborn denial next turn. So, we just have to untap here. So they targeted my shadow. Now if they take another removal spell, they send another burn spell at this death shadow, we then get to play Gurmag Angler with Stubborn Denial up next turn. And they've only got two cards. We'll be at six. So things are a tidbit dicey, to say the least. But we got to get nasty with Stubborn Denial going on. So we're not in a horrible spot, to be honest. Like, I'm not sitting here, like, wicked excited about our position, but I've certainly been in tighter spots against Burn. All right, first one's good.
Okay, get rid of that. <clears throat> That's not bad. So now let's check out what they got. Okay, now we're gonna push this. And then, I mean, if they if they whiff, we have snap stub up. And we do have a decent clock. <clears throat> I think we counter the first, otherwise they tie up one of our mana. They meet a creature, which just kind of sucks in the spot. So what I was thinking, we can't. What I was thinking is that, like, me think. Maybe there was no reason to not do it. I guess it does just make it so that we untap with mana in our full turn. So that does make sense. And then we just cut these. That does make sense. Because <clears throat> then we would have theoretically untapped with the Snapcaster. We we wouldn't we didn't know we had it, but so we're gonna keep this because we have two Death Shadows. Hands a little sketchy. But usually double death shadow on the play against burn is really where you want to be. <clears throat> what am I doing with my thought scour? This is a little difficult sequencing because like I would almost like to I want to bobble myself, I think on my main phase, because I feel like I'm almost guaranteed to Thought Scour, so if my opponent sends a bolt at me, that I then can play two shadows. Looking for basically like land or stubborn denial. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the reason why the burn deck is playable is because there's, you know, 24 cards that are the same thing. 28 cards, I don't know, minus their 12 creatures. Their lands, 12 creatures, all the rest of the deck is the same. <clears throat> all right, so nasty. I think we're off Gurmag Angler. If this was a polluted delta, I would think about it because I could fetch island. But I think I think we're just good with the old nasty or masty. Let's get this watery grave. We're gonna pass. We need to hit a land for the Gurmag Angler to be good, and then if we hit a land, then likely these Death Shadows are going to be better. What's going on, opponent? Having triple Battle Rage is nice here. Against these burn decks. I would like to play, I hopefully get to play against a control deck. I might send like the bat signal, like instead of doing a second league, I might send the bat signal out on Twitter to see if someone wants to sleeve up a control deck. That's nice. That's going to be good at some point. I think that we're going to Thought Scour no matter what. Even if our opponent goes like turn one Lava Spike, I think we're going to Thought Scour. Because the upside of like getting two Shadows into play or getting Shadow plus Stub is pretty high. Do you have any Chicken Chunkers? 
I do not, and I really hope that you don't get a ban after you answer this question. They're going to guide me to victory. So because of how Thought Scour works, we don't have Gurmag Angler, we might actually just Thought Scour them if we like this top card. They just cut all their, like, fat cards, like Restoration Angel, Dark Confidant, Keswick Malcontent. Like, those cards are all gone. Okay, so we definitely don't want that. <clears throat> now, yeah, all those like all those extra cards. Burn, baby, burn, burn. What are you doing? Like you, you gonna gut shot me? All right, Stubbs nice. A land would be nice. I disrespected the angler. And we're gonna look for land. Come on. Because see, now if we hit a land, we can potentially fetch a basic and then play Garmag Angler. We milled over two fetch lands. What a what a joke. I guess we only milled over one fetch land. Let's be accurate here. Jeez. That's tough. Uh, probably discarding Snapcaster Mage. This game's gonna get harder to play now. Oh we we only have yeah, we don't have eight. We have seven. Alright. Okay, so there's a land. I should have put that. No, I don't know. It is nice that we hit our red source. Now, I think getting the angler in there is better. You can double bolt my angler. We're getting swifty. Searing blaze here, and I would vomit. Oh, if we put this into play. I should have thought about this and wondered if the two damage to be able to path this was worth it. So let's get ourselves a swamp. We're taking six. We're basically like idle unlocked already. We're gonna be able to cast one spell. <clears throat> yeah, we're we're dead as a doorknob here. So we're gonna like just play one death shadow. But we can't even like counter a burn spell. What am I doing? Hang on. Attack, block, lock myself, block, lock myself. I guess I just do this and just have to block the idol on. I don't this was probably stupid too, but we're we're probably we're just in a lot of trouble any way we cut it here. Like, hopefully they just don't have anything. We get to block this Eidolon, block this Goblin Guide, and then be able to figure it out here. I probably should have just played one. Yeah. So if I had played just one, I'd be at five. Going to two. Block. Die. Yeah, that was tough. <clears throat> yeah, that sucked. So I only played one.
Stub this, go to three, block, take damage anyways. And maybe we got greedy with our opening hand. Maybe I should have, like, used my stub. Or probably should have just shocked for the angler. Because if I had Gurmag Angler in play, at least, like, I've got some sort of a roadblock. So if I had shocked myself, been at 11, stub the path, go to 9. My opponent cracks me for 5, but I can eat the Eidolon if they attack with everything. If they don't attack with everything, I go to 7. What else would have happened? Yeah, I just, I, I like messed that up six ways this Sunday, I think. <clears throat> Them's the beats. I'm not sure I could have beat that draw, but I think I could have done a little bit. My mic is too loud. It is cracking. Is there anyone else that is catching that? I don't know. Always smart up here. 3 2 our league. And then probably jump back in for another one. I would like to play first. This hand. Don't even know what that is. Uh, this hand's not very good. It just doesn't do anything. You know, like, we can't get a fast shadow. We can't get a fast angler. Like, this hand's just awful. All right. This hand does something, at least. I like being pretty selective with my sevens. I don't like to just keep garbage. Keep this bolt. It's probably all right to keep. Well, here's what we're going to do we're going to bobble our opponent, figure out what kind of deck they're on, and then depending on what they're doing, we can figure out if we want that card. Visra Seer. So we don't want that card. We want to find Death Shadow Battle Rage. I almost feel like I have to get a black red land here because we need red. I can get blue red, I guess. Then we'll just pass. We'll hold our Street Wraith. So Vistra Seer means we're playing against the, the Vengevine deck. <clears throat> All right, so there's half the piece. Oh, I should have cycled my Street Wraith. That's a pun. Stubbing that would have been great. Oh, geez, they have nothing. Holy shit. They probably have two creatures coming next turn. So now I'm going to go get Watery Grave, get Homeboy into play. <coughs> My phone is a little bit loud. Even still, I turned it down. I turned it down. Put down a little more. We're at negative 12 decibels, so that, that's, that's substantial. You gonna Vengevine me, bro? Or 
Okay, so that's... As long as they don't put, like, 42 bridges in the board. We're actually like not... Okay, so there's a bridge. They have their own ley lines, which is really interesting. So I could bolt my own shadow, but... That's just not a great way to win here. Sounds good. I should have bolted this right off the bat. Because I can just block both of these, take four, and be okay. I don't want them to, like... I kind of just want to bolt this Viscerous here. Because, like, that's just going to, like, turn all their draws into something ridiculous. In all reality, I don't think we're winning this game as long as I find Battle Rage very soon. All right. I have had enough of you. So it's a free block. Because that's how it works. How long can I find until I find Battle Rage? So they attack me. Three, take eight, I'm dead. Yeah, we're just dead. I need. I guess I needed to keep that for this Venge Vine. All right, we get to we get some help here though. So they have their own ley lines, which is worth noting here. So we're probably gonna cut our Gurmag anglers. All right. So let's. Get rid of the Gurmags. Get these ley lines in here. Get the battle rages. Get the engineered explosives. These stomach denials are not that good. And I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this. I think ley line is actually like really, really smart out of these decks in their main deck because it makes it so their bridges are never gonna go away. Yeah, but they have their own um, ley lines, so the fish isn't good. Like what, what, like how these games usually go is if one of us ley lines them, then we just both kind of play this slightly anemic game, but I play a much better at it. But much, I'm much better at it. So as soon as I find a Death Shadow, like, the game usually ends. Mulligan. There's no ley line. There's no ley line. This deck doesn't have a ley line or... Come on! Alright, so let's go to Battle Rage, so we're going to keep it. We're looking for Death Shadow. And that's just how this matchup goes. Like, when you have this ley line... I think that you do have to, like, mulligan for something that's, like, ley line or something that's, like, bat that's like um, Death Shadow plus Battle Rage and a quick Death Shadow. And we've got half of that. So, like, we're likely going to lose here, but it is what it is. Yeah, let's just go to the next league. We're good, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're good. And that's just the cost of, like, 